Hello and welcome back to another Poolside Chat presented by annualpools.com. I'm Rob. And I am Matthew. And in case you're wondering, yes, the hair transplant work. <laughs> Look at that beard. The question goes as such. What is the difference between alkalinity and baking soda? Rob? Well, alkalinity or total alkalinity is really the measurement of all bicarbonates, carbonites, and hydroxides in the water. Proper alkalinity levels prevent issues like corrosion, scaling, and eye irritation. An ideal range of alkalinity is 80 to 100 parts per million. Uh, baking soda or sodium bicarbonate is used to raise total alkalinity in the pool water. So total alkalinity is the measurement and baking soda is the substance used to raise alkalinity. Uh, is there a difference between alkalinity sold in the pool stores and baking soda found on uh, grocery store shelves? Uh, no, they're both sodium bicarbonate. Um, the only difference would be that a pool supplier would typically offer larger quantities like 25 to 50 pounds. Yeah. So what you're saying is pool stores pretty much just added the name total alkalinity and then added 50 bucks to it. You, you could say that. Nice. <laughs> Actually not. Not very nice. Well, I think that answers it. I think so. Well, this has been fun. I guess another two years. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be back, probably. Uh, well, thank you for joining us. If you have any questions uh, about anything pool and or spa and uh, just want to see our faces, come visit us over at InyoPools.com. Bye.